It's 8.32, and on the phone with us on the tour bus as he makes his way around uh, California later on uh, in December. Uh, right now, I believe somewhere in the southeast, we've got Clay Aiken on the phone on his bus. Clay, nice to have you with us. Uh, describe the bus for us, would you? There are four wheels on the bus. Well, actually, you know, there might be more than four wheels on this bus. It's pretty long. we got bunks. we got a little living room. we got... Uh, TV. Somebody's playing video games right now, and uh, uh, it's just kind of, it's become home. We've been on the bus so much this year. And how many people are with you on the bus? Um, there are, there are, including the driver, there are five. And who bugs you the most? <laughs> um, I probably annoy myself more than anything else. <laughs> <laughs> something. Clay, I have to tell you that I was just devastated with American Idol when you lost. I was pulling for you all the way. But it's, what's funny about it is you talked about how when it was over, you're going to go back and be in a teacher. Or if you didn't win. If you didn't win. And here you didn't win, and your career's going hotter than ever. Well, I'm, you know, very fortunate. I kind of like to think that it's a opportunity to teach still though and clay we think that's really great of you and talk about fans claymates wow yes yes and i'm very lucky they're they're, they're very supportive and almost uh and goodness they're interesting and, and enthusiastic well i just want you to know clay that here in our mark and kim studios at coast 103 none of us are holding up signs oh <laughs> You know, it's funny because we had picked up a news report that you had asked during these holiday shows that the, apparently that's a, a very big thing to be taking signs and that it was they were blocking other people's view yeah. and so that you had asked very nice to uh, uh, have people maybe restrain themselves from doing that. Yeah, we, when we do arena shows and we do stuff, uh, you know, uh, larger venues and where people stand up and we do, a, a, you know, a louder and a little more... Um, uh, energetic show. People stand up and they can bring signs, and it makes sense. And it's kind of neat. I like, re I like reading them and seeing what they have to say. But when we're in auditoriums and people are so, you know, they're cramped there, and then everybody's sitting down, you just can't see a thing if those signs are up. So I had, I thought it would be a good idea for those those individuals who were behind the sign holders would probably appreciate a little more. Too. Well, when you canceled your show here in uh, Southern California, people were calling very upset, wanting to know what was wrong. And I guess you had some kind of a virus, or. Well, I had a sinus infection, and it made me it gave me some. You know, I had some coughs, and it ended up. affecting my, my vocal cords for a while. And you're feeling pretty good now? Yeah, unfortunately for those around me, I am full-on able to talk and everything now. <laughs> <laughs> and you're coming back to uh, Pasadena on the 28th. You're going to still do the Christmas show on the 28th. Yes. People are still in the holiday spirit then. I think you're out there shop doing your after-Christmas shopping, right? Yeah, you're right. Hey, listen, uh, Clay, your Christmas with love has done so well at the stores. I mean, it's the holiday album to pick up this year is there a particularly favorite song you've got on this new cd we get a lot of requests for mary did you know that's my favorite absolutely my favorite i don't you know it's one of those songs that um uh that it's actually probably a song that could, that could go year round but it's, it really talks about the meaning of the season and the meaning of the of the holiday and and it does it in a, in a very haunting way and i just you know would love for that to become a new classic you know it's it's, it's not been it's been done by a lot of uh christian artists and uh but but not been done in the mainstream um yeah, and so uh, so I was so thrilled that I had the opportunity to kind of bring that um, to a, to a different audience, and it's just such a it's such a haunting uh, and, and really moving song to me every time I sing it. So um, it is beautiful. The whole CD, I just love it. Now, Clay, when you were growing up in North Carolina, what are some of your Christmas memories? Oh goodness, I always had my Christmas memories were always the ones where something messed up more. Uh, Probably more National Lampoon than, than uh, Norman Rockwell. <laughs> I got a Christmas present um, one year uh, from my mother, uh, and then the next year I was opening up, um, uh, I think it was a shuttle or something, uh, like a, a little model, a model shuttle to put, the, put the space shuttle together or something like that. The next year I was opening up presents, and lo and behold, I had another one. And I said, Mom, I got this same thing last year. And she said, um, no, that's the exact same one you got last year. You never opened it. I went in your closet and pulled it back out and wrapped it again. So, uh, <laughs> so your mom your mom has a sense of humor then. <laughs> yeah, but I don't like the sense of humor when it comes to presents. <laughs> hey, Clay, as you look forward to 2005, uh, what, what's up for you? Um, hopefully a little bit of a break. We're going to take um, some time off. I'm actually going to do some um, do a, a, a field trip with um, with the, uh, UNICEF uh, to um, to look at the education practices in in, um, in countries in some countries outside of, of the U.S. Obviously, in, uh, in more developing nations, uh, and um, and bring attention hopefully to the need for education for for all kids. Uh, 
elsewhere. So that's um, coming up sometime in February, I believe. And then we'll probably sit down and, and take a take a rest for a little bit and maybe uh, do um, do some work on another album at some point. Uh, but right now, I just have got such a headache. <laughs> I'll bet. <laughs> well, all the time. <laughs> you know, you you have been going right since the Idol show stopped, and uh, so it's nice to know that you are going to take a break, breathe, have some fun, and God bless you for you know continuing to focus on the needs of children uh, less fortunate than than so many out there. Well, thank you very much. And we wish you a very blessed Christmas, and can't wait to see you, you here. Too. On the 28th, right after the holiday. Sounds great. Thank you guys very much. All right, Clay. So nice to talk with you. Let's get a trap.